Hey y'all, um, I wanted to say that I am going to do a review on bright leaf hot dogs in Chile. And back before my fall, I had talked with a representative of bright leaf about me doing this. And um, so today I'm gonna do it and it really couldn't have come at a better time to fix a very uh, easy, simple meal and um, since I'm not able to really uh, cook and all that, that much right now, Randy grilled the hot dogs and Kaylin uh, heated the chili. And so I'm sitting here at the bar and I'm gonna talk to you about these and uh, do a taste test and tell you what I think about them. So, um, I'm gonna come clean though. I was um, reading about them earlier today and it said that they are fully cooked and that people will buy them and open up the pack and eat some on the way home and stuff. So I have waited so long to try these and been so excited about trying them that I asked Randy to bring me one and he did and I ate it without it being grilled or anything. And I wanna tell you that is the best hot dog. So when, um, in a few minutes, I'm gonna try it uh, grilled, but oh my goodness. Um, I'll say this and then I'll move on. Um, like I was telling my daughter, I, I said that I don't care what you pay for a hot dog, whether it's the cheapest hot dog you can find or the most expensive. I think so many of the hot dogs are bland. And, um, but with the bright leaf, they use uh, seasonings and you can like taste every seasoning and um, they are just not like any hot dog you've ever had. They have so much flavor. And so now I want to, uh, I'm not gonna bore you with all this, which is really interesting, but I do wanna tell you a little bit about the company because I think it's really interesting. Um, Bright Leaf Products is produced by Carolina Packers. And they're a small family owned business that has been producing Brightly products for more than 80 years in Smithfield, North Carolina. And in a minute, I'm gonna tell you some of the different uh, products that they, uh, they have. So you can be on the lookout for them if you decide that you wanna order some or shop for some. Uh, one, uh, anyway, the, uh, what we're going to try today is the red hot dogs. The founder made these hot dogs red so that they would stand out against the brown ones. The hot dogs are made with pork and beef and from the beginning of the process, uh, of them being, uh, produced, uh, till they get to the grocery shelf, it only takes three days. Now that's fast, um, fast and fresh. They support local businesses, including suppliers and the agriculture industry. And that's so important in this day and time that you support your local businesses and all and help them to be successful. You'll only find bright leaf in North Carolina that they ship nationwide. Uh, check out carolinapackers.com if you are interested in finding out more about the company or ordering from them. And they also have a, um, a little thingy that you can put in your address and it will tell you the nearest places that you can get the hot dogs, uh, whether it be a store, convenience store, restaurant, or whatever. Uh, the hot dogs are pre-cooked, so you can enjoy one right out of the package. 
uh, in the chili is made with real beef and a blend of spices and seasonings. I haven't tasted it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, now I wrote something, but have you ever not been able to read your writing? Um, Okay, I'm gonna give up on that. Uh, you can order, uh, no matter where you live, um, except I don't know if they ship overseas, but that wouldn't be too hard to find out. Uh, order now and get them shipped right to your home with a 20% off discount code. And that's good, 20% off is good. The code is Get food 20. It's all one word. Get food 20. Um, at carolinapackers.com collections order bright leaf. Um, I will have that written in a description and that should help you. Um, Okay, I think what I wrote there was you could find your closest place that sold bright leaf at uh, brightleaf.com. But don't hold me to that because you know how I am. And then I just want to share with you a couple more things and then we're going to taste them. Uh, and this is a list of the things that I saw that they sell. Uh, red hot dogs and they are slightly spicy. I know when I ate that one earlier, it left just a little tingle on my tongue. It was not too hot. It was just enough that, you know, if you've ever eaten anything really good and you still have that taste in your mouth, you know, a good while later, that's how that hot dog was for me. They also have red hots uh, these are great for breakfast, and they are hotter than the hot dog. I bet those are good. Then the chili, and this is our chili container. And uh, I have the chili in a pot over here where it's been heated. It says serve on hot dogs or use as a dip. Uh, they offer several sizes or in bulk. So I bet that dip would be good. They have bologna also, and um, it has basically the same flavor as the hot dog using beef and pork blend. Also, they have a turkey formula bologna, and its price is cheaper than the, um, the beef and pork hot dog is, um, excuse me, bologna is. Uh, they have smoked sausage, it's ground pork sausage in, natu in a natural casing. They use hickory wood chips to give the real wood smoke flavor. And I bet that is good. When I, I do not know yet where in my local area to get this, but when I do, you can bet your bottom dollar I will be getting all this stuff. Red linked smoked sausage. Bright leaf, it, it is a bright leaf exclusive. It's smoother, it has a smoother texture, a lot like the hot dogs and red hots, but has a milder traditional sausage seasoning. And then the last thing I have is fresh country sausage. Hot and mild comes bulk or uh, large link or breakfast link sizes. So, um, if you go to their website and look, you might find that they have more things. This is just what I found in a pamphlet I was reading. And um, I have talked to the man over at Brightleaf a couple times. One of the nicest people. And, you know, that means a lot in business to be nice like that. And it makes people want to do business with you more and it's made me really enjoy this time that I've had um, 
you know, with the hot dogs with him. So anyway, I'm gonna show you the hot dogs first. Now here is, a, a, this is a 32 ounce bag. But as you can see, we've taken some out because we grilled them. And I believe there's 10 in here. And my husband, uh, Randy, most of y'all know him. He made, he grilled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here they are. See how red and pretty they are and burnt on the ends just like we like them. So there's 10 and seven and the one I snuck and ate earlier equals 18 hot dogs. So I'm assuming 32 ounces would be about 18 hot dogs. And um, I wanna show you the chili also. I don't believe, yeah, that'll go down a little more. Here is the chili. And that would be good with like some um, corn chips, something like that, or, um, you know, just whatever you think. I think it would be good like on um, eggs. So that's the hot dogs and that's the chili. And now I am going to taste the hot dog and I have no fork to cut it with, so I am a country girl, and we eat with our fingers sometimes. So I'm gonna give this a try. Oh my goodness. That is so good. You can taste those different spices. The hot dog is tender. All that flavor. If you don't try this, you're doing yourself a disservice because it is so good. And I have no hot dog buns. And in the South, we like Excuse me. We like to eat our hot dogs on light bread or loaf bread, whatever you want to call it. So I'm putting it on there and I'm gonna put just a little bit of chili because that's what I want to taste now and see what I think. So I put a little chili on there. Let's see what I think. Mm. That is like a perfect hot dog chili. It's not hot. It's got a great texture, a lot of meat. Really, really good. So, um, I guess that is it for the review. I highly recommend the hot dogs and the chili, and I'm sure everything is great. And I hope that y'all uh, are able to give this a try. If you live out of the area where they uh, stock the stores and all, consider um, ordering some to be sent to your house because I promise you, these are awesome. And so thank you, Brightly, for sending these to me and letting me give them a try and you're gonna have to let me know where I can go and purchase these uh, on a regular basis because these are gonna be a big part of our meals. So anyway, have a wonderful day. And as always, please do something kind for yourself and kind for, for someone else. These days are so um, just filled with so much stress and unknown and 
there are people that just need a friendly face, a hug, a smile, a hello, a cup of coffee, just something to, for them to know that you recognize them as a, a human being and that uh, you care. So um, anyway, have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.